Hi, this is Rachel with Beadaholic, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a wire bale for bead embroidery. So I have a little piece of bead embroidery that I've just finished, and we have other videos showing you how to glue your cabochons onto your beading foundation. I use Lacy Stiff Stuff, and also how to backstitch your beads onto your beading foundation, which is why you see all this kind of messy thread on the back, but don't fear, that will all be covered up by your ultra suede by the end of this piece. So the next step is I want to create a way to um, attach this piece to a chain to make a necklace. And I'm going to do that by making a little wire bale. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my wire. I have some 22 gauge artistic wire here. Um, I wouldn't recommend using any thinner gauge wire because the bale has to be strong enough to um, hold it, hold the piece from a chain. So I'm just going to unspool just a couple inches of this 22 gauge wire and I'm going to take my nylon jaw pliers and straighten it. And I'm going to say this is just about enough wire here to work with, about two, two and a half inches. So now I'm going to take this piece and hold it in my round nose plier tips and I'm just going to roll the wire around one of the jaws of this round nose plier and just create a loop at the top. And if I hold this against my piece, that loop will just peek over the top and create a bale that I can then put a jump ring over and hang it from a chain. So all I'm going to do is take some E6000 glue and I'm going to Let's see, I'm going to place my piece where I want it to lay on my ultra suede beading foundation. And I'm just going to first put some glue over my bale. And I'm just going to glue that down onto the foundation. Now I'm going to take some more E6000 and just put a couple of dabs of glue along the back of my bead embroidery. And I'm just going to glue this down on top of the bale. Let's see, so there's a little bit of the bale peeking out. I think I want a little bit more. I think that's good. So I'm just going to press this in place gluing my piece down onto my ultra suede. And once this dries, I will cut the whole piece out of the ultra suede and start making a beaded edging to sew up the ends of the piece and make it look nice and professional and polished. And we have another video showing you how to create a beaded edging around bead embroidery. And I'll come back to show you how to edge your beads around the wire bale. So now I've done most of my edging around my bead embroidery piece, and you can see that I just have little delicas lining the piece, and I've come to the top again where I have my wire bale, and I'll just show you quickly what I will do to accommodate for the bale as I finish edging my piece. So just to review, when you edge your piece, you would take a bead on your needle, and you can either go front to back, but I like to go back to front, and I just stick my needle through the faux suede backing, the ultra suede, and through the lacy stiff stuff. And I pull, and I like to hold the Nymo in place because I want to keep that loop there. And now I'll take my bead and stick my needle out through that bead and pull it down. And that is one edging stitch. So now I've come up against my bale here, and I'm just going to account for that by leaving a little bit of room around the wire and just edging inside the bale. So I'm going to poke my needle through the ultra suede, through the beading foundation, and hold my thread in place. And this is gonna be a little tiny bit tricky, but I'm actually going to stick my needle through the bale and then through the bead. And when I pull, you'll see what happens. So I just created an edging stitch 
and my thread bridge from one bead to the other is behind the wire bale. And it looks like I have room to do one more bead inside the bale, so I will pick up another bead, go through the backing, and once again, I'm going to take my bead and hold it and get my needle through the bale before I go through this bead. And I'm going to pull that tight. So now it looks pretty seamless. You just have your edging inside the wire bale. And to finish it off, I'm going to create my one last thread bridge through. I'm going to sew down through the first Delica that I put on when I started edging the piece. And back here, I'm just going to create a knot and tie that off. And to get my knot really close to the back, I'm just gonna grab the thread and roll that knot down and pull it really tight against the ultra suede. And I'll make a double knot for extra security And I want to make sure I have that first knot securely inside the second knot there. Now I'll cut off the extra thread and the piece is done. So that is how to create a wire bale for bead embroidery. You can find all of these supplies at beadaholic.com. Thanks for watching.